All right, so this is the new portal. Oh, that looks like San Quentin score, or did I? Valparaiso, that's Bad Company 2. I remember this one. This didn't have Conquest, it only uh, Rush. Oh, this looks like. This, oh, this looks like. Uh, oh, that's all. What looks like Bad Company 2? Bad Company 2, 1942, Bad Future. Caspian border, oh, yeah, that's a classic. Better free. All right. All right. So, remember what I said about um, if you are like if you are hardcore. Battlefield. I, it, it doesn't matter which one, but just for the sake of of uh, the conversation that we were in, if you're if you're a, a hardcore Battlefield One fa fan and that's the kind of content you want, if you are creative and you have the time and the skill and the dedication to do it, you you could probably you could probably keep playing Battlefield One in Battlefield Twenty Forty Two. You just have to create that game mode, just or create. I guess you just have to pick the maps you want, pick the vehicles and weapons, and, and classes and gadgets and whatnot that you want, and just remove everything you don't want, and get it as close to what you want to see in a game as you can make it. And then hopefully enough people are going to want to play on your, I don't know, server or your mode or your creation, so that you have a sustainable game. That's that's what I that's what I I don't know. That's the feeling I get. I might be wrong about that, but what was it in the beginning here? This, where is this? Why I can't put my finger on this? Battle of the Bulg. Oh, Battlefield 1942. Battle of the Bulg. Okay, I. Okay, so this is an earlier. I, I guess I didn't play that game, or maybe I'm misunderstanding something. Because that, that, just because of the looks of it, that windmill looks like any any of the windmills that we have in, you know, San Quentin Scar or Giant's Shadow, any, any game with windmills, basically. They look like that, but apparently... I think it's a Battlefield 1942 map. Yeah, with okay, I didn't... Battlefield 1 and 5 graphics. Okay, yeah, I, did, I didn't play Battlefield 1942, so sorry if I can't... If I can't talk yeah, about it. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> that game. Oh, you played it? Yeah. Alright. This looks kind of funny. Look at this. You have this futuristic... I don't know what these vehicles are called. Uh, hovercrafts or whatever. I th the ones that I remember, they have four engines. But there, there's a variety of them. And th this is in this... World, yeah, you see, you see there, you have a Spitfire or a Messerschmitt or whatever this plane is in the background, and then you have this uh, modern hovercraft. So it's it's blending, you know, vehicles that are f like fifty or sixty years apart into one game, or or even more, like seventy years apart, maybe. Ball, I guess, if you have a beer belly, beer belly, I wouldn't know because I have a six pack. You know? <laughs> Not a real pet patch. Multiple hostiles on my mark! 
This one. I was never a big fan of Rush, but Valparaiso, 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 or however you say it, it was actually a really fun map to Rush. It really was. Valparaiso was a really fun map. If only they didn't have all these animations from Melee. But, uh, what can you do, huh? It's bad with you. Shield, I, I don't like the shield implementation. But, uh, maybe it could be bad instead. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, when they when they make a creation like this, the possibilities to expand on this and build on this is endless. You could have a game that lasts for ten years. You can have like the uh, the Planet Side Two or Planet Side One for that matter. The the Planet Side vision of it of a of one game that is sustainable for. For over 10 years or 15 years, it just keeps growing and just keeps being, uh, you know, uh, the the up. How do you say it? Like the the graphics might be up updated and upgraded all the time, and so so on and so forth. The problem with that is the business model of Battlefield and EA and Dice is that they don't have a business model for a game that is meant to last. That's that's the problem with. Um, the possibilities of of that, because I, I think a lot of people would would love to see one big massive battlefield universe where, like, if if you are, if, let's say, you're a battlefield one fan, and they just expand on it more and more and more. For that to happen, they have to have a business model for it, and the only way I could see that happening is if they moved over to um, the you know, it, it's normally called pay to win, but I mean, if they could finance their production and their uh, the game development by selling skins and stuff like that, and especially if they would move over to the blockchain gaming, which is what blockchain gaming is going. To, this is what's going to happen with the blockchain games, where the in incentive is to make people play the game for a long period of time and invest in the game and you know buy in-game items and stuff like that this business model does not exist with uh with the battlefield um franchise or well for the most part anyway instead the battlefield games and i've said this many times before battlefield games this is a little bit this is a little bit uh this is a little bit uh this is a bad way of saying it. This is a little bit, uh, almost like a rude way of saying it, a disrespectful way of saying it, but Battlefield games are not really meant to be played. They are meant to be bought. Once you have, like, in order for in order for DICE and EA to make money, they make money by you buy, buying the game, not playing the game. But there are many business models out there that are designed for you to play the game. And the more you play the game, the more you will invest in the game. And that business model gives you the incentive to improve of the game over a longer period of time while the battlefield model is designed so that you get a super you get super hyped when the game is released and then you buy the game and you play it for two years and then you buy the next game so but that's call of, call of duty i'm not sure they yeah make call, like call of duty many, game every year yeah and there are many games like that these are two competing game Mo should I say model? No. Uh, I, well, business models. Increasing their shareholders. Yeah, it, it's it's two competing business models, and Dice and EA have chosen the business model of selling the game for like eighty bucks or whatever, hundred bucks, something like that, and then uh, uh, when they can't get any more money out of it, when they're not selling it to any stragglers that comes in late or people I don't know if people want to buy chests I don't know if that was ever a thing where people actually did spend money on chests or skins or whatever in battlefield maybe it was I didn't I didn't see it but unless they can make money that way they're gonna just have to give up on the game at a certain point of time and make a new one 
shield oh. doesn't deflect bullets anymore. Okay, thank you, Yuxusu, for the update. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the Star Wars gun gun shield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, well, I remember from the movies, but I don't remember from the game, but yeah. Uh, I remember the, the laser swords, though, the lightsabers you could deflect. Uh, to yeah, some, but, to some degree, uh, but episode one, the gun gun army. Yeah, 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 I remember it from the video. Uh, Those the... shields. Yeah. You can edit preset modes or make one from com completely from scrap. Oh, really? Oh, I can't All right, see so there's a blog post about it. All right, cool, cool. I'll. Uh, th this is just a. Uh, this is just a reaction. Um, this is my initial reactions and uh, you know speculations. I haven't checked the facts, but uh, I mean, in theory, the the possibilities are more or less endless. I mean, like today or when they release it, maybe you are quite limited in creating your games or whatever. But that might be updated also if that. If the incentive, like the financial incentive, has to be there, that's the thing. That there, there has to be a financial incentive for Dice to yeah. do anything, and uh, yeah. I can see them put in content so you can buy new things for yeah. Porter. I, I I can see that happening too. <laughs> I can see that happening too. If you want to have this cosmetic, so yeah, or if this you, you want to play this or... game mode, it costs you twenty bucks. If you wanna you wanna play this yeah. this way, uh, you have to put in another ten dollars stuff like that is very very likely to happen i guess or they just give up on it and there's a new game two years later i don't know i think it's more likely that they will just make a new game like they always did two years or well three years later whatever it is or there is a part of uh, way too many content some consider to be unnatural <laughs> yeah man 